guys welcome back to my channel wow i feel like it has been a week it really has since i recorded actually it's been like a couple of days so much stuff has like i gotta up update you guys in person like i am now uh, but like what everything that happened okay so you see look at the cute area this is what we're recording now i did a youtube short talk and a, and a tiktok showing how i did this i got like some cute invisible shelves to put stuff on and there's three of these over here so there's one right here one up there and no one higher and i put my picture down here and i got like a whole new I think I talked about the desk area last time, I think. But yeah, I got like, you know, my desk in the corner. It's just a nice area now. Because it's like, um, it's better rather than like, you know, I think I said it too, rather than seeing everything behind me. But now it's even cuter. I removed the lamp because it was getting, to, God, that lamp was getting so hot. I was just light everywhere because I got the ring light and I got my studio light and I had that light. I was like, uh-uh, I can't do that. And then at the window, it was just like beaming off of me. And plus it wouldn't fit because the um shelf. So I was like, you know what? It's either the shelves or the lamp. And I bought the shelves, so I'm going to use the shelves. Um, if you want to know, I got these from Amazon. They were $16. There was a set of three. Not easy to put up, but you definitely need two people. But they are beautiful. You can go check that shirt out. They are gorgeous. Then I was able to get a lot of stuff off my desk, so that's what made me happy. Also... We have been, we have the schedule. The schedule's up, okay? And I'm actually working on the next month's schedule because I'm like, I gotta get this channel in order. It's time to get it in order. I got stuff to do. I got still, like, so much stuff to plan for this channel, you guys. I really wanna grow this channel. And, like, um, you know, the whole point is, like, for women's safety. So, like, I got so much planned. I'm talking about merch. I'm talking about, like, different videos. I'm talking about memberships. I've been trying to get all this stuff planned, you guys. So, just uh, be patient because it's like it's literally going to I feel like it's going to take so long because I'm doing it by myself I wish I this is what the time I need an assistant because I was like I literally didn't know how much I actually had to do until you actually look at it so like I'm just stressing over here that's why I was like let me go and at least get the schedule down so I can follow it also I have to get used to like a schedule myself y'all it's not easy I'm so used to like recording and uploading so many like, every day I would do like two videos a day uh, every day and I was like I need to calm it down so now i'm doing like two to three videos a week most likely two and in a podcast episode which i did record an episode yesterday you can go check that out on the link i was in the description twisted d's podcast where we talk about a lot of different crime where me myself and i yesterday i ended up talking about the big case that's happening right now in france with dominique pellico and giselle pellico crazy crime he allowed 92 like she was the, she was raped 92 times and um out of the 72 men 51 are on trial so plus her husband y'all insane case and i'm breaking that down into parts so we i talked i talked about the crime itself and that one is just an insane insane case okay so yeah we are talking about gun violence today i'm excited because it's like i love giving my voice out and that's why i'm happy i have this platform to talk youtube is really like i know a lot of people use like rumble and don't like youtube but i like youtube because um even though you can't say like every Everything. That's why I kind of like also having a podcast now. I was like, it's better to voice my concerns and like stuff explicitly on there. But this also gives, it's like, it still let me let my voice be heard. Like, I'm happy that I can say certain things in the title and it won't get demonetized or it won't get like thrown away because TikTok, y'all. You can't say, like, you can't say death, or you can't say, like, murder, you can't say, like, any of those words, which makes sense, because a lot of kids on there, but I'm like, kids are on here, too, but I like it, because I think it's also mostly because, like, news people be on here, and they have to say it, so it makes sense, and plus, I talk about crime, so I actually think that's why, because you, um, it was one video that got, actually got taken down on my channel, and, like, a, like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, okay, it's an old, old video, and it was, like, right when I was starting out, so I did not care at all, it was like about the woman who breastfed her husband which I was just like I was cringing throughout the whole video it was a funny video I was just like ill but um it was like sexualizing or something that's what like the I was like well the regular video is still up there so how is it that taken down whatever I don't really care but um I don't watch that channel no more so I'm like I'm not reacting to it so I don't really care but yeah I was like I, I'm, I'm kind of getting the gist of what to and what not to say but y'all i say everything i say like murder death machete um chopped up i say it all okay because this is stuff people need to know i talk about the crimes on here people need to know them so we are talking about gun violence today oh my god 
the gun violence that has been going on in like the U.S. I'm going to talk about the U.S. specifically on this one. It's just insane. I feel like it's just non-stop. And I'm trying to see, I see my camera, y'all. I might have to like, let me try to lower my voice because my mic is right here and I don't want it to be too, too loud. But yeah, we have, I'm also, I was going to do like a one-on-one -on -one talk, which I am, but I am also going to be show, um, doing a case too, okay? Because this one is actually insane. But before we get into the case, let me just talk about what I think, okay? I feel like there's no way to fix this situation. Americans are so, what's the word, patriotic. It's not liberals, is it? Because I think um, when somebody disagrees, they'd be like, they're like a liberal or something. I'm like, no, they're not. Americans are so patriotic. That's why I got to get out of here, okay? I got to get, I got to go. I think my um, my breaking point was definitely the, the, vin, the gun, vin, the ammunition vending machines. I was like, okay, yeah, y'all are, y'all doing too much here for me. They have vending machines with bullets that you can get now. I believe they're in the South right now. They're in like Alabama, I think Texas, um, Missouri, and the worst states you don't want them in because I can say that because I live in the South, okay? I live in the South. I see stuff. People are racist and I don't know what down here. I live in Arkansas. But you have somebody literally made a vending machine where you can go get bullets. Y'all... When I say Americans are too patriotic, they are way too patriotic. And the fact that there's like the eagle on the vending machine, that's not a picture. I'll put a picture up for you guys. I believe it was like an eagle or something on it. Y'all, no. This is not helping. Yes, you gotta have like um, a gun card, I think. But what, who's, what says that somebody's not gonna rob that and just take the bullets? I don't know how that thing works, but I do know you need like a card um, or something, like your um, your ID number for like your license or something. I'm just I'm just trying to picture somebody actually going somewhere and getting some bullets out of the vending machine and um, hopefully going hunting because you know that's what it's for. You know, people hunt, they go hunt deer. I'm not with that. I just hate hunting in general. I, I'm, I'm an animal lover. That is true. Okay. Also, let me hear Abigail something else. It's like taking off topic, but we got to talk about it because y'all going to see it on the YouTube short. Um, yeah. The I, I don't eat meat. Okay. I would not eat meat. I don't think I would ever eat meat again. I just, I don't crave it. Actually, my mom was making bacon the other day and I almost got sick. I had to step outside. It was all throughout the house, that smell. But... I cannot stop eating dairy. I don't know what the problem is. It's so hard for me because I, I made a vegan, like, not a vegan. <laughs> I made a veggie lasagna. And I used, like, I did tofu for, like, the ricotta. And I did, che like, regular cheese on top. I was like, oh, well, I eat what I eat. I just don't eat meat. I really do need to stop eating dairy. It's just that vegan cheese do not melt. <laughs> it don't melt. And it throws me off. And I can't put that on there. <laughs> so I was like, dang, oh. Oh well, but yeah, it was really delicious though. Yeah, I had to say that. I don't know why that's in this video, but I had to say it. We have what it's like people who hunt, they're just I feel like they're too good with their guns and they'd be the ones that's committing crime too. But nope, nope, don't, don't before you say anything. I know it's anybody, I'm just saying, you know, people with guns scare me. You got people in bad neighborhoods who can who like who just shoot up. Gun violence has gotten so bad down here in the south. I think somebody like a couple people died yesterday where I'm at, like not where I'm at, but like in another, like another city near me it's just that it's so bad I feel like anybody can get their um, hand on a gun and I always see those comments where people are saying that we need to stop um, you need to stop they didn't stop buying guns people can get guns anywhere realistically I don't even, I don't even know why we have guns well we got them for safety I guess I do know because you do have people and I'm answering my own question you do have people who um, commit crime for some reason can y'all imagine a world without crime like they, don't that sound nice but it don't have it's not like that but we have people who commit crimes so you have to get a gun for your safety um you can't just people just can't be a man about it and just like go fight one on like fight one on one but you can't but it's like you can get a gun anywhere people sell them off the market oh y'all i saw one on facebook somebody selling a gun on facebook the fact that facebook don't like flag that i should have reported it i'm just like we, we, this is the world we live in right now it's like everybody is like using guns you've seen we've seen all these cases the girl who i did put on my i, I called her out on my community board because that girl who shot her mom um in the kitchen and was she hit her gun in the kitchen then like went to go shoot her and then cried when she got life in prison no 
I'm just like, mm -mm, this is insane. Um, the case we're talking about today is a man who shot his, his ex-girlfriend's entire family. Like, he shot a lot of her family members to death because she didn't want to be with him. So this is the stuff I'm talking about. People are using guns as a way to cope, and it's not. They're angry, and angry people do not need guns. So I'm going to go and share the screen with you guys because I don't want the video to be too, too long because I'm going to have a lot to say I already know. But I already, y'all, it's bad. Just because she didn't want to be with him, she left him, he killed her entire family. Well, when I say entire, I'll say my sister, brother, her sister, um, a, a boyfriend or husband, um, somebody else that stayed there. He's already a serial killer and did not care, guys. It's scary that there are people out here like this and they use guns like it ain't nothing. We, I don't even know if we can really fix this problem. It's scary. This is a scary world we live in. But I'm going to go ahead and share the screen with you guys because I know I'm going to have a lot to say. Let's get into it. Insignificant little man with a big gun. Judge, a brave coward who ambushed and murdered several members of his ex-girlfriend's family after she broke up with him. And I do believe this was, this case happened in 2023, I could believe. Cause I do believe, because I think he got caught in 2023. So maybe it happened like earlier that year last year. It's just sad in general. So this is Joseph Castorina. A Colorado man will spend the rest of his life behind bars for shooting and killing multiple members of his ex-girlfriend's family in an apparent bout of vengeful rage after she accused him of domestic violence and broke things off. Let's harp and stop right there. Why do people hit others? Why do when you can't, you don't want anybody calling you out for your problems so you can go fix them and get some help. You would rather hurt her because she's trying to help you. Why would you? I don't understand domestic violence anyway. Why, why would anybody put their hands on another person? I just, I don't really, I don't understand that. I don't know if it's like a psychological thing, because it's always somebody that think they have so much power and they belittle the other person so bad that they end up having the most power. It's weird, and it's like, it's never ending, and it's crazy, it's sad too. I can't even count how many cases that I have on my channel and how many I still have on my list to do that all deals with domestic violence. It's like, they, they're they all similar. They, I feel like most of them end up with somebody getting like being murdered, being shot. It's always like shot because, I don't know, and then it's it's always so personal it's always close to the head it's like execution styles they be killing y'all and um it's weird because it's happening so much it should not be this much gun violence in like one place it really shouldn't um I actually took this off my list i don't know if i'm gonna talk about it i might put it back but we'll see it's just because um I think it happened in 2014, but they're just getting charged. Um, I think they just got all got like life in prison. It was like 160 years in total between the whole, all the, like five people, y'all. It was in California, and um, they were called like the murder gang, but they killed like 11 people, random people trying to find gang members. They were just shooting them up. It was in a small town in California, and I'm just like. All this gun violence for nothing. People have nothing better to do with their lives, but like rather than like murder. And I'm going to say this like I always do. I don't understand that, like, when people murder, because I'm like, do people not care that you are taking somebody's life away and they can't come back? Like, you really need to, I think people really need to look at that and, like, listen to that. These people can't come back. That's so sad. So let's get through right now. In May, Joseph, 23, was convicted on four counts of murder in the first degree and one count of attempted murder by a jury in that county. In the Mount High State, first degree murder convictions are essentially a foregone conclusion in terms of sentencing. Such defendants are automatically subject to life sentences in prison without the possibility of parole. But the judge overseeing his sentencing hearing earlier this week was not content to simply administering the mere formalities of the final judgment. The court took the opportunity to sharply upbraid the killer for the fatal violence and the historical smallness of his life. And before we see what she said, I think he think it's she. That's true. This dude already is a serial killer at twenty three. He's only 23, probably 24 by now. Don't look like it, okay? But, like, you had, like, you're so young. I'm like, I'm 26, y'all. Every time I say my age, and I was, I'm going to just continue to say 25. I'm 25. But um, I'm, I'm now I'm 26. But he's so young, and you already took four lives. Your life is already over. Like, that's insane. 
it's sad. It's like not not sad for him. He did the crime, you know, do the time. That's what you could get. But it's like it's crazy that so many young people are taking this way and like like the girl that shot her mom, you're a kid and your life is already over. Your actions were those of insignificant little man with a big gun who had to control the people in his life that he supposedly loved and did so with such abject violence, the county district judge said. And it's a man. According to a courtroom report by Denver Based, this insignificance of yours will dissipate in time into other where you will become forgotten. On October 30th, 2022, Castorina broke into his ex-girlfriend's home on North Geneva Street in Aurora. There, he brutally executed Maria Anita Serino, 22, his ex's sister, Jesus Serino, 51, the sister's father, Kenneth Eugene Green Luke, 20, the sister's husband, and Rudolfo Salgado Perez, 49, a tenant who stayed in the RV on the property. This coward executed an entire family and innocent tenant, Senior Chief Deputy District said in the press release. The defendant couldn't accept the fact that his ex-girlfriend wanted to move on with her life. Instead, he decided to viciously murder everyone she loved. After the bloody ambush, the since-condemned man fled to Mexico. So sad. I'm talking about, did not care. He killed his ex's sister, her husband, her dad, and just another hit it there. I'm talking about, oh, it's like, isn't it weird that like so many young people are also dealing with domestic violence? Why? How is how is that in people's hands unless, you know, they have been like, you know, victims themselves or like their family? But like, even if that people, need to, I feel like it's so hard. I don't know. I guess I am not in the right to talk because I haven't experienced it because I was. But realistically, just like morals, you got to find a way to get out of that and move on. You can't stay like that. Stay angry. If that's true. I'm just saying allegedly if he has. I don't know. Some people are just angry. Some people do be just angry and like trying to, you know, hit their partners for no reason. That do happen, y'all. But he took the lives of these people for like no reason just to get back at them. This reminds me of that case I did. Uh, with the girl and the, these like two kids in high school y'all he got mad because she dumped him so he went to her home and killed shot her mom point blank while she was holding her baby the baby survived but the mother did not shot her I think right in the eyeball and I'm, as a retaliation against her it's insane kids should not be knowing about this kids should not be thinking about this stuff and he's not a kid but it's like he's still super young you're 23 dude and your life is done like the judge said he will be forgotten castorino was finally arrested through the work of an international task force that included the fbi mexican immigration agents and other federals and local police according to the Aurora police department he was extradited to colorado in march 2023 this defendant committed a series of heinous crimes and then tried to avoid facing accountability by fleeing to Mexico. Deputy DA Lauren Relbo said, the Aurora Police Department deserves tremendous credit in helping us track him down and bring him to justice. At the time of the slings, Castorina's ex-wife was on the phone with police, then several shots rang out. While she and her two children were not harmed, prosecutors also tried to convict Castorina for attempted attempting to murder her. The killer was given a separate 24th year sentence for that crime, which the judge assessed to run concurrently or at the same time as his multiple life sentences. Yeah, he's not getting out. He's done for. He's gone. He's going to be forgotten. He's only a number now. You're done. You are officially a serial killer. You're gone. Life in prison plus like three more life sentences plus 24. Out of here. Mm. The defendant, for his part, reportedly kept mom during the hearing. The government worked to make clear how Castorina felt about the slaughter after nearly two years, calling the killer remorseless. Prosecutors said he blamed his ex-girlfriend until the very end. Just one week before the massacre, the defendant's ex-girlfriend and her father obtained a restraining order that prohibited Castorina from contacting her or coming near the family's home. I've had many people stand before me as defendants and say, I'm not a bad person. I just did the wrong thing. And I sometimes agree with them. Carpel went on. But Mr. Castorina, you are the biggest exception to the rule. And that's the thing. I really hope this PC isn't too loud, y'all, because I swear, I'm like, it's just, I hear it. I'm going to have to figure that out. But look, this man 
just shot like just shot like it was nothing and once again the gun violence that's like going on the man had no emotion he didn't care blinged her to the end what did she do nothing she didn't do she wanted to leave you because you're crazy that's what it is and a lot of these men and i'm only saying men because this crime women do it too because y'all y'all been seeing i've been getting into like these crimes with women and chopping for some reason a lot of women i got like a couple more on my case on my own little case files to talk about a lot of women have been like chopping up their partners and that's like really disturbing so we're we'll getting to that in another video but it's like a lot of men can't take rejection and they don't they don't care or they just they think they're gonna lose the power and he had to end her it's so crazy how you'll take that way out you'd rather ruin your life and that's what's crazy too how are people not afraid to go to prison nowadays prison is so scary it looks so it's so well it looks it is it's unsanitary it's so nasty and people are really going like it ain't nothing there ain't no way I'm finna go to jail. <laughs> I'm not going to jail. I'm not finna get taken advantage of. Like, ill. Like, oh my God. I just, people are, they are getting a lot of like, and, and I know prisons stay open for like tax money, but they getting them up in there because there's so many crimes. Like with that um, case I said, and off topic a little bit with the Dominique Pellico case, they are about to, about to send like 52 people to prison. That's what I'm saying. It's so many people going to prison. And it's insane how they are like, people don't think about that. Like that girl that shot her mom, you're going to prison with adults. Well, maybe like to, maybe like to, I think they treated her like an adult. So maybe, but I think she'll go to juvie then until she 18 then in prison. But it's like, you're going to be in prison, girl. Your life is done. You're nothing but a number. You're gone. And people are not, they're not caring. Oh, y'all better than me, because that ain't no, that ain't, that's crazy. I don't even like weapons near me. Like, if I have a, a weapon, I'll get a nunchuck or something. I just, well, I'll get a we weapon, like, if I have to get a gun in my house for safety. But I just don't, I don't know what goes in people's heads when they're committing crimes or trying to commit them. They're just doing it like it ain't nothing, and it's really scary. Like, we cannot live in a world with this much gun violence. This dude did not care. Like, he went to her apartment immediately and then just, like, shot them up. And it's so sad. I don't know. I don't think those are his kids. But it's like, you shot. You didn't even care that there was kids in the house. Now this girl don't have her sister, her brother-in-law, and her dad. And um, another tenant. That, like, they're all gone because of one dude. Because of his ego. And he couldn't get rid of it. And it's so sad. And I, I just, I don't know. I think that's what's also creepy about dating people. Because you never know what they're capable of. She probably, like... Now, I feel like I would know only because I talk about this stuff now. And I'm like, these cases are all making me aware. I'm like... Uh, if you break up with somebody, let me let's get into it. If you break up with somebody, definitely better to do it respectfully. But then a lot of people do that. Dudes just don't care. It's like you you don't want to be rude about it just because you never know what how people will react. You really want to try to end it on good terms. But if you can't, it's like all you can do is go to the police and let's talk about it. Don't think I forgot. She had a restraining order. Her and her dad. Once again, they don't work. I feel like these restraining orders are useless because. What's why would he that's not gonna stop anything? Like, he still went over there, he didn't care. Um, there gotta be something else we do for different, there gotta be, gotta be something else, man. We have to have something else for domestic violence victims. Like, there can't just be a piece of paper saying stay away. Like, there can't be. Like, these dudes and women and these people who are violent are not listening. They're like, they don't care. They'll easily go to prison. They have their target and it's you. So I just don't understand how we live in a world where we can't control this, but you really can't control people's emotions. Like they don't care. And now he's getting taken advantage of in prison. That's all we could be happy about. But it's like he took the lives of her family. That's so sad. Like, I can't even imagine having three funerals plus, okay, four because the tenant. But I can't imagine having, like, four funerals for people I knew. That's from one person. And this is why you always got to notice the son. She left early on, thank God, but he still got her. It's sad. Well, got, got her family. Didn't get her, got her family. But if you're dating and you think and you this is how you know if somebody's crazy okay this is a good tip when you're talking to them you should play like act like um act like you're gonna break up with them just like say something like oh i'm gonna break up with you or something just be like funny about it and laugh 
he will show his true colors right there. I swear to God. I swear to you guys. Like, if you hear somebody, like, depending on who he is, if he say, oh, you never leaving me, leave. Leave. <laughs> um, if he say, oh, I can't live without you, leave. <laughs> if he say any of those things, get out of there. Get out. <laughs> get out. I'm telling y'all. Um, a normal person can live without you. <laughs> and I feel like it sounds so bad me saying this, but you don't understand how deep those words are when somebody say, I cannot live without you. Who? I can live without you. I'm like, you know, I will be mourning. That's all you're mourning that person. But if they say that, you should, and if they say it with a straight face, prep and get ready to go. Do not stay in there because that's all you need to know. And stuff happens when you don't notice those signs. Like, if somebody, if a dude ever told me, if I was talking to him, and he ever said, "Oh, I can't live my life without you," like, um, like you ain't never leaving me. That night, I'm out. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, and I'm slowly moving my stuff out, and I'm slowly leaving the country. I'm like, yeah, we far apart. <laughs> like, there ain't no way. But yeah, just notice those signs, guys. It's scary because you never want to stay. Especially before something happens, you definitely want to leave before it happens. Um, you never want it to get to a point where, you know, you're kind of stuck because a lot of people are like that. And it's scary because you never know what that other party are capable of. That's what they do. It's like they make you stuck. Like you're stuck. You can't leave because they, they frighten you. They hit you. And it's really scary. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe out there. Notice the signs. These dudes are really scary. Women too. But I'm just talking about because this case. He killed her entire family because she didn't want to be with him. Insane. Just be careful. Stay safe. Stay alert. Stay aware always. Gun violence is getting insane, y'all. You have to be careful. And on that note, I will let you guys go. Check out the Twisted D podcast. Bye.